In this video, we're going to be doing a quest walkthrough guide for the Prey of the Pack quest where you have to find Raj the little boy. So to pick up this quest, you're actually going to have to make your way all the way to Checkpoint Rest Town, which is very far away. The, the quickest way to get there is by going to Vernworth over here, right at this location. And if you go ahead and you take the West Ox Cart right over here, this will actually take you all the way across here without you having to travel on foot. Though if you do travel on foot, you get a lot of XP from killing everything along the way here. It's just going to take you like an hour or two. Once you make your way to this town, we're going to go ahead and make our way to Morris's Apothecary right over here. Once you get close enough to his apothecary, it will start a quest. You'll be able to pledge your assistance from this point, and I do recommend that you do this quest as roughly as you get it because this boy's life is on the line and there is time passaging in this game, so if you take too long, he might die and you won't be able to do the quest. So now you're going to have to find Raj and go to his aid. You're now going to make your way to the ox cart where you go to the north side of the village, and you'll see here you'll immediately be engaged in a conversation with this lady over here. Just sent. Go ahead and speak to her. She'll talk about a location with flowers that is towards the east, right over here. You can see on the map over here. You can go ahead and set a waypoint at this location. You can see right here. Go ahead and press the set waypoint option. And I'm just going to go ahead and set a waypoint over here. And now we have to go to that location. Once you make your way to this location, you'll see it's a bit of a kind of a graveyard, I guess. And you'll look around, you'll see the flowers, but you won't find Rog anywhere. But there is a chest behind this tree that I recommend you open. You're now going to head back to the checkpoint town. So you're going to head all the way back here. And this time you're going to make your way to the Sword and Staff Inn right here at this location. As you approach the inn, you will need to be here at nighttime. So what you're going to do is actually go to the bench that you'll see here. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to sit here and you're going to press the Doze Off option to make it nighttime. There we go. Now it's nighttime. We can go ahead and walk around just like this. And you should find this NPC over here called Elsa right next to the well. She's kind of walking around. You will have to just find her in the village if she's not at this location. And once you've questioned her, you're going to then question the guard who is at the gate. Once the ox cart to the north of the entrance is gone, you can walk through the entrance leaving the town and you'll see Rickard, the guard on the left over here, will then say, Wolves, eh? Mayhap you seek the putrid cave. You'll find him at this location over here on the map. He only seems to talk to you when the ox cart is not here. Once you've questioned him, you'll be able to open up your map and you'll see we now have a location on the map all the way to the east over here, this yellow one right here. And this is where we're going to go. I'm going to set a waypoint just like this. And now you have to make your way there. If at any point you're lost on the way, the blue flowers on the ground are actually a, a you know, a, a crumb trail all the way to this exact cave because these are the flowers that he had when he was dragged. So you can follow the blue flowers the entire way to the cave entrance. Once you make your way into the cave, you'll find the, the putrid cave over here. You're just going to have to progress until you find Rog, the boy. You should find him at the entrance over there in the distance there, just getting stabbed by Kaido right here. There he is, just completely fine. No, like, bite marks or anything. How did the wolves get him here? Go ahead and speak to him, and this will progress the next, you know, little bit of story. You'll now have to escort Morris all the way back home, so you're going to have to walk all the way back home. Yeah. Of course, by back home, I mean you got to take him along the pathway, the road, the entire whole thing, all the way back to Checkpoint Rest Town. Once you're back at the town, you're going to make your way to Morris's Apothecary over here. You're going to bring Rog directly to the Apothecary over here, and it will say you escorted him back safely to town. And then you can go ahead and speak to Morris. And that's how you can complete the Pray for the Pack quest in Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.